This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Monday, May 19th. Federal health officials have confirmed the first transmission of MERS on U.S. soil. CDC investigators believe the man who was the first known case in the U.S. passed the virus to another man during a business meeting with a handshake. It appears the newest patient never even knew he was infected. His body apparently fought off the disease. The CDC says it is closely monitoring the case, but the risk to the American public is low. At least 47 homes were destroyed during that outbreak of nearly a dozen wildfires in San Diego County. Firefighters have gained the upper hand with help from cooler temperatures and calmer winds. But the heat and dry conditions do return later this week. All the evacuation orders have now been lifted, but some people are going home to find most everything is gone. The media landscape is undergoing another major shift. AT&T has agreed to buy DirecTV for nearly $49 billion. It would make AT&T the country's second biggest pay TV provider. That's behind Comcast. It would also give AT&T more clout in negotiating with media companies uh, as it moves into new markets like video. But regulators worry that the industry is increasingly controlled by just a few corporate giants. And here's something airline passengers certainly don't see every day. Imagine waiting in the airport security line and seeing someone carrying a teeny tiny leopard cub. There it is. She's barely a month old, doesn't even have a name yet. The tiny clouded leopard cub arrived in Denver aboard a Frontier Airlines flight over the weekend, accompanied by a zookeeper and an assistant on her way to her new home, which is the Denver Zoo. She's cutie pie. cute. Let's yeah. name her Frontier. Frontier works for me. All right. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.